Look! It's in that little tree. Hmm. I'll just climb up and get it. The tree is much too thin to take your weight, Daddy Pig. So, how can we get George's hat? Simple. I'll give the tree a little shake. Huh. Maybe if I shake it a bit harder. Oh! oh. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that sort of thing only happened to me. It's not funny. It is a bit funny, Mummy. I suppose it is a bit funny. <laughs> <laughs> Where's George's hat? It's on your head. <laughs> Here's your hat, George. Hold on to it this time. <laughs> the wind is blowing all the leaves off the trees. Look at me! I'm leaning into the wind. <laughs> the wind is strong enough to hold Pepper up. <laughs> The wind is strong enough to hold George up. Daddy, have a go. Uh, I'm a bit too heavy. Come on, Daddy. It's really fun. Oh, all right. The wind is strong enough to hold up Daddy Pig. <laughs> I say, this is fun. Come on, Mummy Pig, give it a try. But if the wind stops, I'll fall over. <laughs> the wind won't just stop. The wind has stopped. <laughs> <laughs> it's not funny. It is a bit funny. <laughs> <laughs> now the wind has stopped, what can we do? Hmm, what's your favourite game? Jumping up and down in muddy puddles. But there aren't any puddles, just lots of boring dry leaves. And what do you do with dry leaves? I don't know. Jump up and down in them. Daddy Pig loves jumping up and down in leaves. <laughs> Pepper loves jumping up and down in leaves. <laughs> Everyone loves jumping up and down in leaves. This is the best autumn day ever. <laughs> <laughs> Pepper is covered in mud. I see two little piggies who need a bath. <laughs> George's hat is on top of some reeds in the pond. Lucky for us, your hat is still clean, George. But how do we get it? This is a job for a grown-up. Hmm, I will need a stick. Don't fall in, Grandpa. I know what I'm doing, Peppa. <laughs> I can reach it! I see a big piggy who needs a bath. <laughs> <laughs> Grandpa Pig, what on earth are you doing? I'm having a cup of tea. No, you're not. Of course I'm not. That was a joke. It is perfectly clear to see that I have fallen into the pond. That was a silly thing to do. Pepper, George, you're both covered in mud too. We were trying to get George's hat back, Granny. Where is George's hat anyway? It's flying in the sky. I will get George's hat back and then you can all get cleaned up. Be careful, Granny. I would use a stick. Thank you, everyone, but it's perfectly fine. I've got boots on. If you walk on that manure, you will sink. Hush, Grandpa. I have no intention of sinking. I can reach it. Got it. Ah! Oh, dear. Granny Pig is covered in manure. Ooh, smelly Granny Pig. <laughs> <laughs> Mummy Pig has come to pick up Pepper and George. Hello. Grandpa Pig, I thought you promised not to let the children get muddy. I think you will find we promised not to let George's hat get muddy. And it's not muddy. It's perfectly clean. <laughs> yes, I can see. The only clean thing around here is George's woolly hat. <laughs> <laughs> Who can tell me their favourite game? Jumping up and down in muddy puddles. And what do we need to make a muddy puddle? 
Dirt and water. Dirt and water. Mix them together to make a muddy puddle. Peppa, please test the puddle. This puddle is too dry. Let's add some more water. Please jump again, Peppa. This puddle is just right. Nice and muddy. <laughs> and making muddy puddles is a bit like making concrete. Concrete is what we're using to make your new playground. It starts off wet and soft like mud, then it sets and goes hard forever. Ooh. Right now, it is gloopy like custard. Let me show you. You see? It's very soft. But who can tell me what's going to happen next? The concrete will go hard. Exactly. It will set as hard as rock. Uh, Daddy Pig, I think you should step out of there before... I'll be with you in a moment, Mr Bull. I'm just talking to the children. Yes, but... Uh... You see, the concrete is soft. Still soft. And now... Hard. Wow. All thanks to a bit of simple science. Now, Mr. Bull, uh, what was it you were saying? I was trying to say you should get out before the concrete goes hard. Ah. Daddy Pig is stuck. Don't worry, Daddy Pig. I'll have you out in a jiffy. How? I'll dig up a playground. <laughs> Daddy Pig loves being dug out of concrete. Everyone loves being dug out of concrete. Oh, George. In the world, there are two sorts of balloons. The up balloon and the down balloon. That is an up balloon. If you let it go, it will go up and up and up all the way to the moon. Moon. <laughs> Grandpa! Oh! <laughs> Got you. Perhaps we should go indoors before we lose your balloon, George. Your balloon will be safe in here. Hello, Polly. George has got a new balloon. Oh, balloon! <laughs> Don't you pop it, Polly. George loves his balloon. <laughs> oh. George has let go of his balloon again. Don't worry, George. It won't fly away because the roof is in the way. Oh, it's gone through the door. It's going up the stairs. It's going into the attic. Don't worry. There's only one way out of the attic, and that is through the roof window, which is always kept closed. Oh, dear. The roof window is not closed. Catch it, Grandpa! I can't, Pepper. It's in the sky. George, your balloon is going to the moon. You'll never see it again. Daddy Pig has come to take Pepper and George home. Hello. Have you had a lovely time? <laughs> um, we bought George a dinosaur <laughs> balloon. But George let it go. And it's flying to the moon! George wants to ride on the potato <laughs> rocket too. Are you sure, George? It looks a bit high. Daddy Pig doesn't like heights. Moo! Hurry up, Daddy Pig! Oh, I'm not getting on. George is too small to go on his own. Oh, OK. Make it quick. Oh, it's very quick. <laughs> George has changed his mind. Oh, dear, George. <laughs> Come to Mummy. Maybe I'll just get off too. Talk to me! Have fun, Daddy Pig. Uh... Oh, it's stopped. Well, I'm glad that's all over. <laughs> oh! Everybody off! <laughs> that was fun, wasn't 
isn't it, Daddy? Uh, yes. Lots of fun. Mummy, what's that? Go round and put your head through that hole. Now what happens? <laughs> <laughs> Susie, you're a tomato. Look, I'm a carrot. Oh, yes. And I'm a pumpkin. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the Dinosaur Garden. Ooh. Say hello to my dinosaur friends. Uh, don't be frightened. They are not real. But this is exactly how they would have looked walking the Earth together. No, it's not. What? Triceratops lived in the Cretaceous period. The Stegosaurus was Jurassic. They would not have walked together. How do you know that? I'm a clever clogs. <laughs> anyway, who wants to ride one? Me, me. Why have you got dinosaurs in Potato City? Uh, because dinosaurs ate potatoes? No. Anyway, children like dinosaurs. I'm good at smelling. What's smelling got to do with it? I can find you by sniffing your smell. <laughs> I'm not smelly. I had a bath last night. I know. You smell nice. Oh. <laughs> I could even find you with my eyes closed. Go on, then. <laughs> find Susie with your eyes closed. Easy. Hide, Susie. One, two, three. Susie is looking for somewhere to hide. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ready or not, here I come. Freddy is looking for Susie with his eyes closed. He is sniffing where Susie Sheep has walked. Round the tree, behind the little bush, and back up the hill. Thanks to my nose. It's a super nose. Yes, it is. Has everything got a smell? Oh, yes. Everything has a different smell. What do I smell of? <laughs> you smell of flowers and Wellington boots. <laughs> <laughs> what do I smell of? You smell of wet grass and biscuits. <laughs> <laughs> what do I smell of? Bananas and jam. <laughs> what do I smell of? Milk and fish fingers. <laughs> what do I smell of? Pedro, you smell of toothpaste. Oh. What's your favourite smell? Eggs. What is the worst thing you've ever smelled? Blue cheese. Pooey! <laughs> <laughs> it's nearly dinner time. How do you know? I can smell carrot soup. <laughs> Pepper and George are playing with Pedro Pony. <laughs> they are going to jump in muddy puddles. <laughs> Pedro has slipped and lost his glasses. Nay. Where are my glasses? Without glasses, Pedro cannot see very well. Ooh. <laughs> George has found Pedro's glasses. Ooh. <laughs> Silly George. Here they are. Thank you. Pedro, why do you wear glasses? I need to. The optician says so. What's an optician? My daddy is an optician. He checks that you can see clearly. How? Does he look inside your head? <laughs> he does an eye test. Shall I give you an eye test? Yes, give me an eye test. OK. Hmm, interesting. Close one eye and say what you see. I can see George. <laughs> Now close both eyes. Now I can't see anything. Hmm, can't see anything. Very, very interesting. I think you need glasses. Oh, do I? Yes. Pedro, 
Home time. Bye-bye, <laughs> Pedro. Nay. Bye-bye. <laughs> Mummy, I need glasses. What? Pedro gave me an eye test and I need glasses. I'm sure your eyes are fine. No, Mummy. When I closed my eyes, I couldn't see anything. But no one can see anything with their eyes closed. Oh. What's this about needing glasses? Pedro knows all about glasses. His daddy is an optician. All right, Peppa. Let's take you to the optician for a proper eye test. <laughs> now for the cherry tree. We need green for the leaves. But there isn't any green. Never mind. If we mix blue paint with yellow paint, we can make green. Mixing blue and yellow makes green. Ooh! What lovely green leaves. And here's some grass. What about the branches? We haven't got brown paint. We can make brown. We'll mix the green and the red. Mixing green and red makes brown. Ooh! Daddy Pig paints the tree trunk and the branches. Wow! Cherries. Yes, Pepper. Put your finger in the paint and dab it onto the tree. <laughs> One, two, three. Well done. Now it's George's turn. <laughs> <laughs> what a great painter you are, George. <laughs> <laughs> there, the painting is finished. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's the ducks. <laughs> Hello, Mrs. Duck. We're painting a picture. <laughs> the ducks are running through Daddy's paint. Shoo, shoo, naughty ducks. Shoo, ducks, shoo. Stay away from our painting. <laughs> oh, no. The ducks have made paint footprints all over the painting. Oh, dear. What was all that noise? Mummy, the ducks have spoiled our painting. Hmm. Let me see. The ducks are making paint footprints in the garden, just like the ones on the painting. Daddy's painting isn't spoiled, Pepper. It's perfect. Hooray! Oh, yes. I am a bit of an expert at painting. And so are the ducks. <laughs> <laughs> she moves her head like this. <laughs> and she flaps her wings like this. <laughs> and she says, Ahem, Cuckoo! <laughs> cuckoo! <laughs> what a cuckoo! noisy little cuckoo you are, George. Cuckoo! <laughs> Look, it's going to do something. <laughs> wow! <laughs> <laughs> Silly George, you missed the cuckoo. <laughs> the cuckoo was really, really brilliant. She went cuckoo and you missed it. <laughs> Never mind, George. You can see cuckoo next time. But you'll have to wait. Cuckoo only comes out once an hour. Waiting is boring. Come on, George, let's play outside. George does not want to play outside. He is waiting to see Cuckoo. It is nearly ten o'clock. George has been waiting for Cuckoo for almost an hour. George, come and play. Mr Dinosaur wants you to play too. <laughs> Dinosaur. <laughs> George has missed Cuckoo again. Never mind, George. Why don't you play in the garden? I'll call you when it's time to see Cuckoo. <laughs> <laughs> to you, George. <laughs> it is nearly 11 o'clock. Peppa! George! Time to see Cuckoo! Quick, George! You can't miss Cuckoo again. George is running faster than he has ever run before. <laughs> George, did you see Cuckoo? Cuckoo! Cuckoo! There 
they're collecting leaves to eat. Are they going to have salad for lunch? <laughs> yes. Talking of lunch, let's have our picnic. Oh, the picnic. Daddy Pig, you've left the picnic in the car, haven't you? Uh, yes. But it's not a problem. We'll just go back to the car to eat. But which way is the car? My map will show us. This way. Oh, who put that tree there? It's not on the map. Oh, Daddy Pig, we're lost, aren't we? Uh, yes. How are we going to find our little car? <coughs> George has found more footprints. Ooh, what big footprints? Dinosaur. Very interesting. What? Has George found some real dinosaur footprints? No, these are our footprints. And if we follow our footprints, we'll find the way back to our car. And our picnic. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> Nothing can stop us finding our car now. We're home and dry. Oh, I wasn't expecting that. Luckily, I remembered the umbrella. The rain is washing the footprints away. How are we going to find the car now? And our picnic. <laughs> it's the ducks. They always turn up at picnics. Sorry, Mrs Duck. We haven't got a picnic this time. We can't find it. <laughs> I know. Mrs Duck, can you help us find our picnic, please? <laughs> <laughs> We're here. Hooray! Thank you, Mrs. Dunk. <laughs> <laughs> I love nature trails. Yes, and I love picnics. And the ducks love picnics. And the little birds love picnics. And the ants love picnics. Everybody loves picnics. Oh, we haven't heard it for years. <laughs> Takes me back. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Pepper and George. Let's dance. <laughs> 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 Mummy Pig is here to pick up Pepper and George. Hello. Where are you? Mummy Pig cannot find anyone. What's that noise? <laughs> Mummy! Hello. We've been dancing to Granny and Grandpa's favourite record. Yes. <laughs> Granny and Grandpa played it all the time. Ooh. And here's the record I used to play when I was a little piggy. What is it? It's called Birdie Birdie Woof Woof. Not Birdie Birdie Woof Woof. You were always playing that. I thought we'd thrown that out ages ago. The birds go woof and the dogs go tweet. Woof, tweet, woof, tweet, woof, woof, woof. <laughs> the sheep go moo and the cows go ba. Moo ba, woof, tweet, woof ba, moo, tweet, woof, woof, woof. <laughs> <laughs> again, again. <laughs> the birds go woof and the dogs go tweet. tweet. Woof, tweet, woof, tweet, woof, woof, woof. The sheep go moo and the cows go ba. Moo, ba, woof, tweet, woof, ba, moo, tweet, woof, woof, woof. That was fun, but we were supposed to be finding some things to throw out. Pepper, what should we throw out and what should we keep? Hmm, I think you should keep everything. <laughs> <laughs> Madam Gazelle, sing, sing the Bing Bong song. song. All right. Ooh, we're playing a tune and we're singing a song with a bing and a bong and a bing. Bong, bing, boo. Bing, bong, bing. Bing, bong, bingly, bongly, boo. Oh, now, children, time for bed. <laughs> Good night, children. Good night, Madame Gazelle. Peppa and Susie are in their sleeping bags. I've got...
got a torch. Me too. <laughs> Attention, children. No more giggling, please. What was that funny noise? I don't know. There it is again. <laughs> Susie, where are you going? Madam Gazelle. <laughs> I'm a bit scared. Oh, would you like to come in? Yes, please. <laughs> Madam Gazelle. <laughs> I think I'm a bit scared too. Can I come in, please? Of course. <laughs> I think I might be scared later. I might be scared later too. And me! Come in, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Can we have the bing bong song, please? All right. We're playing a tune and we're singing a song with a bing and a bong and a bing. I'll go and get it. Will you be okay, Daddy? Oh, oh, I'll be fine. I can see very well in the dark. <laughs> Who put that there? Oh. Daddy, are you okay? Yes, it's just a bit dark down here. Oh, I've just remembered. I think the torch is in the kitchen. Aha! <laughs> uh -huh. Mummy Pig has found the torch. Can I hold the torch, Mummy? OK. <laughs> George, look at me. Pepper is making a funny face. <laughs> Don't worry, George. It's only Pepper. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we'd better tell Daddy we found the torch. Daddy is still in the cellar, looking for the torch. I'm sure it's here somewhere. Daddy, we found the torch. Luckily, it was in the kitchen all the time. What a stroke of luck. <laughs> now, we just have to wait until the electricity comes back. How long will that be, exactly? Um, I would say exactly a long time. Oh, but George and I want to do some dancing. I know what we can do. We can watch some television. Oh, it won't go on. <laughs> <laughs> the TV needs electricity too. Does it? Yes. yes. Oh, now what are we going to do? In the olden days, when there was no television, children would have to make up their own games. Hmm. I know. I need a cardboard box. What is Peppa doing? <laughs> Mummy, will you cut a hole in this box for me? What for? You'll see. Mummy Pig is cutting a hole in the cardboard box. There you are, Peppa. Thank you. George cannot throw the ball past Mummy Pig. Come on, George, give the ball to me. <laughs> Silly George. <laughs> I can do that too. <laughs> Peppa wanted to copy George, but she's too big and has got stuck. <laughs> <laughs> I've got the ball. Peppa, now it's your turn to be piggy. George, catch. Hooray! Hooray! Got it! George, you're the piggy. <laughs> George, catch! <laughs> catch the ball, George. <laughs> catch, George. <laughs> George, catch! <laughs> Here's the ball, George. <laughs> Whee! Oh, dear. Peppa, you shouldn't tease George like that. Sorry, George. What's all the noise? Daddy, George is too little to play Piggy in the middle. Oh, I'm sure he's big enough. No, he isn't, Daddy. Watch. Catch it, George. 
Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> That's not fair. Yes, it is. I just gave George a helping hand. <laughs> <laughs> Mummy, can I have a helping hand? Of course you can, Pepper. <laughs> to me, George. Catch, George. <laughs> Pepper loves catching the ball. George loves catching the ball. Everyone. <laughs> What's that? It's a tooth. Where did that come from? <laughs> Peppa, maybe you should look in the mirror. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's my tooth. It's fallen out. Don't worry, Peppa. It's just a milk tooth. They're meant to fall out. Will I grow a new one, Mummy? Yes, you will, Peppa. It also means the Tooth Fairy will be paying you a visit. Tooth Fairy? Yes, the Tooth Fairy. If you put the tooth under your pillow tonight, the Tooth Fairy will come. The Tooth Fairy will take the tooth and in its place she will leave a shiny coin. When I grow up, I want to be a Tooth Fairy. Oh, <laughs> And what would you like to be when you grow up, George? Dinosaur. <laughs> a dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> Quick, George, it's bedtime. We don't want to miss the tooth fairy. Before going to bed, Pepper and George brush their teeth. Pepper, what are you doing? I'm brushing my tooth so it's nice and clean for the tooth fairy. <laughs> Pepper cannot wait to get into bed. Pepper is putting her tooth under the pillow for the tooth fairy. Good night, Pepper and George. <laughs> Good night, Mummy. Good night, Daddy. Good night, my little piggies. <laughs> George, I'm not going to sleep. Let's both stay awake all night and see the Tooth Fairy. <laughs> <laughs> this Tooth Fairy is very late. <sighs> the Tooth Fairy is taking a long time to arrive. Where is that Tooth Fairy? <laughs> <laughs> George has found some clothes to keep the snowman nice and warm. The snowman is wearing his hat and scarf and gloves. Mummy, Daddy, come and look. Mummy Pig is wearing her hat and scarf and gloves. That is is the best snowman I have ever seen. <laughs> Daddy Pig looks quite cold. He isn't wearing his hat and scarf and gloves. Achoo! Daddy, why aren't you wearing your hat and scarf and gloves? I don't know where they are. I can't find them anywhere. I think I know where Daddy's hat, scarf and gloves are. Daddy Pig's hat and scarf and gloves are on the snowman. Oh! <laughs> the show is about to begin. Um, Madam Gazelle, I need the toilet. Oh, Pedro! Sorry. Uh, sorry. Thank you. Quickly now, Pedro. I've never been to the theatre before. It's exciting, isn't it? Sorry. Uh, thank you. Shh, children. Everyone quiet now. What's that music? The show is starting. Oh! Sorry, everyone. It is not the start of the show. 
It is Madame Gazelle's phone ringing. Wow! Whose phone is that? That really is the show starting. Welcome to the Mr Potato's Christmas show, where the magic of vegetables never ends. Ooh! Hello, children. I am Mr Potato. This is Mrs Carrot. Here is Sweet Cranberry. And here is everyone's favourite Christmas vegetable, Little Sprout! <laughs> <laughs> where has Little Sprout gone? Little Sprout, where are you? He's lost. Oh. Can you help us find him, boys and girls? Yes! <laughs> you see him, boys and girls, shout out, there's Little Sprout! There's Little Sprout! That's it! When you see him, shout like that. There he is! He's behind you! Where? There! Behind you! I can't see him. They're not very good at looking, are they? <laughs> There you are, you cheeky little sprout. I'm the magic fairy carrot. Madame Gazelle is coming. We're not ready. Stop her, Pedro. OK. Hello, Pedro. You're early for playgroup? Yes. Don't go inside. Why not? It's a nice day out here, isn't it? Uh, yes, Pedro. Can I go inside now? Uh... No, it's against the law. What are you talking about, Pedro? We're ready. You can go in now. Surprise! For she's a jolly good fellow. For she's a jolly good fellow. For she's a jolly good fellow. And I shall say all of us. Hooray! Here is a present for you. An antique clock. Ooh. It's made of solid plastic. Thank you. But why is there a party for me? Everyone wanted to thank you for being the best teacher in the world. So, we've made you a leaving party. Because you're going away forever. I'm not going away forever. But you said there was no more playgroup. Oh, Pepper. All I said was, no playgroup next week. I'm going on holiday. Oh! I will be teaching for many years to come. Who else could be the teacher? No one! I'm very happy Madame Gazelle is not leaving. Yes, and I can't think of a better reason for a party. And every party needs music. <gasps> Oh, oh, the rocking gazelles! Hello, Gigi. Have you still got your guitar? <laughs> of course. Let's uh, rockety rock. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Pedro has found a clown outfit. <laughs> Who wants makeup? Me, please. What does everyone want to be? I want to be the clown. But, Peppa, where is your clown costume? OK, you be the clown. I want to be the strong man. OK, Danny, you be the strong man. I want to be the juggler. But I wanted to do that. Wow! OK, you be the juggler. Grandpa! <laughs> I don't have a job to do. You can be the ringmaster, Peppa. You've got the hat for it. What's a ringmaster? The ringmaster is the boss. Yes! I'll be the ringmaster. <sniffs> what do I do? You say, welcome to my circus. See the impossible. The amazing, the incredible feats of daring do. to my circus. It's got amazing feet. <laughs> 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 Moo! 
Granny Pig's garden party guests are here. Hello, everyone. You're in for a treat. The circus has come to town. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my circus. Now, please be very scared of the amazing candy cat. <laughs> George, Richard and Edmund on Tricycle! <laughs> Don't stop clapping. It's the strong Danny dog. <laughs> I was a strong man once. I used to lift tractors. going to find the right big tree. Oh. <laughs> oh, oh, it's usually me that walks into trees. Mummy Pig has found the big tree. Clever Mummy! <laughs> I knew it would still be here. This way, everybody. Are we nearly at the fish pond yet? Almost there. But I'm getting a bit hungry. Don't worry. There's a cafe on the way. Oh, lovely. I could do with a nice cup of coffee. Can George and I have ice creams, please? <laughs> of course. Ice creams for everyone. <laughs> the cafe should be just about here. Oh. Where's the cafe? Is it behind that rotten pile of wood? I think that rotten pile of wood is the cafe. Oh. Uh. There's not going to be any ice creams coming out of that today. Hello. What can I get you? Oh. A cup of coffee and three ice creams, please. Of course. Thank you. Mmm. Delicious. Next stop, the fish pond. This way. Oh, you don't want to go that way. That goes straight into a blackberry bush. Aha. It's the shortcut. It's the way I went when I was a boy. No. If you want to go to the fish pond, you need to go up that path. Well, I'm taking the shortcut. All right. Who wants to go through a blackberry bush? Me. And who wants to go on the path? Me. <laughs> Race you, Daddy. Ho, ho. I'll get there first. Bye. I hope the fish pond is still here. Yes, everything seems a bit different to what Daddy remembers. What's that? It's the fish pond. George, let's see the little fish. <laughs> oh, Daddy said that the fish were tiny. But they're ginormous! Ah, one little snail. Little snails. <laughs> and a slug. Eh, slugs are yucky. <laughs> Here are Grandpa Pig's chickens. Sarah, Jemima, Vanessa and Neville. Hello, chickens. I need to put the chickens to bed. Night, night, chickens. Night, night, chickens. Night, night. Why aren't the slugs and snails in bed, Grandpa? Because they're up all night eating my vegetables. Some animals eat in the daytime, like my chickens, and some animals eat at night, like, oh, Mr Fox. Hello, Grandpa Pig. Putting your chickens to bed, are you? Oh, yes. Nice and cosy in the hen house. Jolly good. Well, I'll be on my way. Good night. Good, good night. night. Now, as I was saying... Some animals eat at night, like... <laughs> oh, hello. Grandpa, there's a little animal in your bucket. Ha-ha, <laughs> yes. It's a hedgehog. They like to eat slugs and snails. Hello, hedgehog. <laughs> oh, he's rolled into a ball. Yes, Peppa. He is very shy. Come out, Mr Hedgehog. Don't be scared. I like hedgehogs. They are very good at keeping slugs and snails off my lovely lettuce. Bye-bye, <laughs> hedgehog. Bye-bye. Are there any more night animals, Grandpa? Yes, there are moths. Ooh, they 
look like butterflies. Butterflies that come out at night. They like the torchlight. When it goes off, they leave. When the light goes on, they come back. <laughs> Can I try? OK. Bye-bye, moths. Hello, moths. Tickets, please. Here they are. Any bags? Yes. I'm afraid this one's a bit heavy. Don't worry. Just pop it on the scales. <laughs> Anything valuable in it? No. Any more? Yes. <laughs> you can take those little bags on the plane with you. Just join the queue over there. This is the X-ray machine. What's this, Daddy? It's a machine that looks inside things. Ooh. Put your bags on here, please. Look, it's my bag with Teddy inside. Dinosaur. <laughs> That's magic. This is the aeroplane that will take Pepper and her family on holiday. Aeroplane! Yeah! George loves aeroplanes. Welcome aboard. We hope you enjoy your flight with us today. Can I sit next to the window? <laughs> of course, Pepper. <laughs> yes, George, you can sit next to a window too. <laughs> this is Captain Emergency speaking. Is everybody ready? Yes, yes Captain, Captain Emergency! Emergency. Then let's go! Teddy, they're flying. What can you see out of the window, Pepper? It's all cloudy and rainy. Ooh, now it's sunny. That's because we're on top of the clouds. The plane is flying higher and higher. Oh, are we flying up to the sun? No, but we are going somewhere sunny. Pepper likes playing with twinkle toes. Whoops! Perhaps you should play with the toy horse outside. Yes, Mummy. <laughs> hmm, it's a bit steep here. Maybe you should play at the bottom of the hill. And the quickest way down the hill is to ride down. Are you sure, Daddy? Don't crash like you always do. Ho, ho. I know what I'm doing, Pepper. I'm a grown-up. Yeah! How are you going to stop, Daddy? Uh, I don't know. Ah. Where are the brakes? <laughs> Clever, Daddy. You use the duck. To stop. What was that big splash? What big splash? Daddy Pig, did you know you've got a duck on your head? Oh, uh, yes. Well, I did fall in the pond. <laughs> horsey, horsey. George wants to ride on the toy horse. Go, go. Oh. George cannot make the horse go. If only there was someone big and strong to push George along. I'm big and strong. I can push George. What a good idea, Pepper. <laughs> horsey, horsey. George, she's called Twinkle Toes. Horsey, Twinkle Toes. Horsey. <laughs> I know. Because the present is for both of us, We'll call her Horsey Twinkle Toes. <laughs> Pepper and George love playing together with Horsey Twinkle Toes. I could tell a story. Make it scary. <laughs> it was a wet and windy night in the Wild West. Ooh. And wild animals were out looking for food. Looking for food at night? Some animals eat at night, Susie. Wild animals.
animals. Brrr. And the brave cowboy Pedro was alone in his tent. But he couldn't sleep because something was outside the tent. Was it a wild animal? What's that? It's a wild animal! Ah! Oh! It is a tiny little bird. Come to look at Pedro's tent. I think it was an eagle. Eagles live in the Wild West. Is everybody all right? Yes, Mummy. It's nearly home time. But we haven't done the pretend sleeping yet. Everybody back in the tent. <laughs> <laughs> Good night, partners. Good, Good night, Cowboy Pedro. Pedro. <laughs> I'm glad there aren't any wild animals out there. Oh! Wild animals! Ah! It's a wolf! Yes, it's my daddy. Oh! Mr Wolf has come to take Wendy Wolf home. All the parents are here to pick up the children. Bye-bye, Cowboy Pedro! Bye-bye, everyone! Are you coming in, Pedro? I want to pretend sleeping a bit more. OK. Mummy, can I come in now? Yes, my brave little cowboy. George, I'm learning to whistle. You make an O shape with your mouth and blow. Don't worry, George. It's almost impossible. Like wiggling your ears. George can wiggle his ears. <laughs> <laughs> Whistling is harder. George can whistle. Oh. <laughs> <sighs> What's wrong, Pepper? I can't whistle, but everybody else can. Never mind. I'm making cookies. Would you like to lick the spoon? No, thank you, Mummy. <coughs> can I ring Susie Sheep instead? OK, Peppa. <coughs> Hello, Mrs Pig. Hello, Mrs Sheep. Can Peppa talk to Susie, please? Hello, Susie. <coughs> Hello, Peppa. What are you doing? I'm learning to whistle, but I can't do it yet. Hmm, that sounds hard. It's impossible. Uh, can you whistle, Susie? No. <coughs> oh, good. I mean, that's sad if you can't whistle. But good, because I can't whistle. What's whistling anyway? You put your lips together and blow. Like this. <coughs> Hello, Peppa? The cookies are ready. Oh, goody! Cookies! <coughs> They'll be hot. You should blow on them first. <laughs> <laughs> Do you not want a cookie, Peppa? No, thank you, Mummy. I think I might go outside and be on my own for a little bit. <coughs> Can you whistle yet? It's no use, Daddy. I'm never going to whistle, ever. Have Best blackberries are right at the very top. That's why I brought the ladder. Um, don't lean too far over, Mummy Pig. Don't worry. I've been climbing this blackberry bush since I was a little girl. Yes, but you're not a little girl now. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> Oh, dear. Mummy Pig has fallen into the blackberry bush. Mummy, can you get out? Uh, no, I'm stuck. You're stuck in a thorny bush like Sleeping Beauty. What? Once upon a time, there was a princess called Sleeping Beauty. One day, she fell asleep in a thorny bush and she stayed there for a hundred years. Yes, that's a nice story, Peppa. It is Susie Sheep. <laughs> Hello, Peppa. Hello, Susie. My mummy is in a blackberry bush. 
and she'll be there for a hundred years. Like Sleeping Beauty. <laughs> and she'll be rescued by a handsome prince who will give her a kiss. <laughs> <laughs> my mummy is having an adventure. I wish my mummy would have adventures like that. Um, can someone think of a way to get me out of here? Don't worry, mummy. In a hundred years, a handsome prince will rescue you. I'll be that handsome prince. Grandpa Pig, may I borrow your pruning shears, please? Of course you may, brave Sir Daddy Pig. Stand back, everyone. Take that, you thorny bush, you. Yay! Oh, my prince. My princess. Mm -hmm. You were meant to stay in there for a hundred years. That was quite long enough, thank you. <laughs> Mummy is a black... Bush. <laughs> <laughs> I thought this sort of thing only happened to me. Stand still while we pick you. <laughs> it's all slimy. <laughs> ah, it's all gone wrong. Making a cup on a potter's wheel is not easy. There is an easier way to make a cup. First, we roll the clay into a long worm like this. It's a wriggly worm. I'm a wriggly worm. I'm a wriggly worm. I'm made of clay. What shall I make today? I'm a wriggly worm. <laughs> we wrap it round and round like this. It's a bit bumpy. Now I smooth it out with my hands. And I add a handle. <laughs> it's a cup. Now we have two cups. Yes, but a tea set needs more than two cups. We'll all make cups. Yes. <laughs> dinosaur. George has made a dinosaur. George always makes dinosaurs. Oh, what a scary dinosaur. <laughs> now we need to bake the tea set in a kiln. A kiln is an oven that cooks the clay and makes it hard. The tea set should be ready. Hooray! Now we paint them. <laughs> the children are painting the tea set. Lovely bright colours. <laughs> The tea set is finished. Now we can have our tea party. There's a cup for everyone. Oh, we forgot to make a teapot. I know, George's dinosaur can be the teapot. Yes, let's fill it with water. <laughs> Edmund has got a medal. Hurry up, Richard. Just take the paper off. Richard has got a medal. <laughs> George has got a medal. <laughs> Oh dear, George isn't passing the parcel. <laughs> no, George, that's Zaza's medal. <laughs> it's a giant teddy. Edmund has one. <laughs> Mummy, pass. Parcel is finished. Um, lovely. Now it's time for food. Hooray! <laughs> oh, the helpers have taken all the seats. <laughs> this is Edmund's party, remember? The helpers can eat after the little ones. Oh, oh yes. yes. We're the helpers. <laughs> <laughs> Goose, please. Juice, please. Juice, please. Jelly, please. Jelly, jelly. More, please. Happy birthday, Edmund. Happy birthday, Edmund. 
It is the end of the party. Thank you to the helpers. You all worked really hard. <laughs> yes. It's not easy looking after little children. <sighs> I need to lie down. I need a holiday. <laughs> <laughs> Holly had a doll. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, Madame Gazelle. <coughs> oh dear, Pedro has a cough. Not to worry, I'll ring Dr. Brown Bear. Dr. Brown Bear speaking. Hello, Doctor. This is Madame Gazelle. A child is ill. Don't panic. I'll come straight away. <coughs> What seems to be the problem? I've got a cough. <coughs> I see. Is it a tickly cough or a chesty cough? Um, I don't know. But it goes like this. Hmm. <coughs> and when did you get this cough? When Madame Gazelle started singing. It's nothing serious, but Pedro's cough may be catching. What do you mean, catching? When one person has a cough, sometimes other people get that cough too. Do I need medicine? Just a little spoonful. I'm afraid it doesn't taste very nice. <laughs> it tastes like an old shoe full of jam. Thank you, Dr. Brown Bear. Goodbye. Bye. <coughs> As I thought, Pedro's cough is catching. Danny Dog and Susie Sheep have caught Pedro's cough. <coughs> Open wide. Ew! It tastes of carpet-flavoured yoghurt. It tastes of flowers. Well done for taking your medicine so well. Do you ever get ill, Dr Brown Bear? No, Pepper. I'm never ill. I eat an apple a day. Goodbye. Bye. Ooh, there is something. Yes, it's a crab. Ah! The crab is pinching Grandpa Pig's finger. Oh! Ouch! Naughty, Mr. Crab. <laughs> Look, George. Mr. Crab is walking sideways. <laughs> George is pretending to be a crab. <laughs> Pepper wants to be a crab too. We're naughty crabs. Pinch, pinch, pinch. <laughs> pinch, pinch, pinch. Help! There are two naughty crabs trying to pinch me. Pinch, pinch, pinch. We're naughty crabs. Pinch, pinch, pinch. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Shoo, 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 you naughty crabs. Go back to your little rock pools. Yes. Let's look in more rock pools. <laughs> what can you see? A seashell. Can you hear the sea in it? What do you mean? If you put a shell to your ear, you can hear the sea. Wow! I can hear the sea. <laughs> I love my seashell. George, can you find a seashell too? <laughs> shell! That's not a shell. Oh. Pepper's right. That's not a shell. George has found a fossil. What's a fossil? A fossil is the remains of an animal that lived long ago, when there were dinosaurs. Dinosaur. <laughs> Rock pools are such fun. Yes, they're fun for us. But not for this little fish. A fish? Where? Ooh. Poor little fish. She's trapped. I drop the seeds on the ground. Then I cover the seeds with earth. Oh, where have they gone? The seeds have disappeared. That's strange. I'm sure I put some seeds here. Yes, Grandpa. We saw you. 
Well, they're not here now. Oh, well, I'll just have to use some more. As I was saying, I simply drop the seeds on the ground. A little bird is eating Grandpa Pig's flower seeds. Oi! Get off my seeds! So that's where all my seeds went. Into the little bird's tummy. <laughs> Two more little birds are eating Grandpa Pig's seeds. Oh, look! Ah! Shoo, shoo! What's all this noise? Granny Pig, the birds are eating all my flower seeds. So we're chasing the birds away. There's no point chasing them. They'll just come back again. Look. We need a scarecrow. What's a scarecrow? A scarecrow is a straw man that scares birds away. What a good idea, Granny Pig. I'll make one. Come on, everyone. Bye-bye, little birds. We're going to make a scarecrow. <laughs> this is Grandpa Pig's garden shed. There'll be plenty of things in here to make a scarecrow. First, we need two sticks and some string. We'll find them. <laughs> Peppa has found some sticks. George has found some string. Good. I'll tie the sticks together to make the body. Granny Pig has found some straw and an old sack. Lovely. I'll put the straw in the sack to make the head. <laughs> now the Scarecrow needs something to wear. Here's a bag of old clothes. <laughs> My goodness! This piece of treasure is quite heavy. Oh, dear. That is not buried treasure. That is a rusty old shopping trolley. Oh. <laughs> Maybe that's enough treasure hunting. Who wants to help build a big sandcastle? Me! What a good idea, Granny Pig. Now I'll just check on the boat. Granny Pig is going to help the children build a big sandcastle. And Grandpa Pig is doing important boat things. Ah, this is nice. Oh, maybe I'll just close my eyes for a little bit. <laughs> Granny and the children are making a big sandcastle. They need lots and lots of sand. They use buckets to make the castle's turrets. <laughs> what a splendid castle. Hooray! <laughs> Time to go home. Oh, where's the boat gone? Look, Granny. Oh, no. Grandpa Pig is fast asleep and the boat is drifting away. We have to wake Grandpa up. Shout as loudly as you can. Grandpa Pig! Wake up! Wake up! Oh, no! Grandpa Pig is still asleep. Grandpa's too far away to hear us. We're stuck on Pirate Island. We're castaways. <laughs> we'll be here for a hundred years. We'll have to eat wild fruit and berries. <laughs> and we'll have to eat insects and slugs. <laughs> <laughs> the parents are here to collect the children. Oh, where am I? Hello? hello. Uh, hello, everyone. Have you had a nice time? Yes. Uh, actually, I just left something behind. Back in a tick. Um, I know. Daddy smelly slippers. <coughs> no, too smelly. <laughs> I know. Daddy's old chair. But that's an antique. What does antique mean? Antique means it's very old and valuable. But you found it on a rubbish tip, Daddy Pig. It's worthless. It'll be worth a lot of money when I mend it. You've been saying that for ages, Daddy Pig. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I'll give these lovely socks that Granny Pig made me. Good. <coughs> I've come to collect your things for the jumble sale. Here they are. Thank you. And would you like this old chair? 
Oh, most generous. Goodbye. Bye. 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 Mummy, who gave away Daddy's chair? Shh, don't tell him. He'll never notice. <laughs> it is the day of the jumble sale. Hello. Hello, Miss Rabbit. Pepper, how about this chair? It's a bit rubbish, but you can chop it up and use it for firewood. But it's an antique. Is it? Daddy said it's worth lots of money. Well, I never. I'd better put the price up. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, everyone. Hello, Hello Peppa. Peppa. What did you give, Susie? I gave my nurse's outfit. I gave my parrot balloon. I gave my toy monkey. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I will miss my jack-in-a-box. Can I buy this jack-in-a-box, please? And I'd like this nurse's outfit. The parrot balloon, please. <laughs> <laughs> mummy, Mummy, look what we've bought. Or your old toy. Peppa, pick me, pick me. But, Daddy, you're not very good at running. I was very good when I was a little piggy. But now you have a big tummy. But I can still touch my toes. <laughs> Nearly. <laughs> All right, Daddy. But you must run very fast. <laughs> the mummies and daddies will run the first part of the race and then hand the batons to the children. Mummies and daddies, ready? Daddy, go! Run, Daddy! Daddy Pig is in the lead. Come on, Daddy! Come on, Daddy! Thank you, Daddy. You did very well. Now it's my turn to Peppa, do... stop talking and run! Oh! <laughs> Keep on running! running. Keep on running! Go on! And the winner is Emily Elephant. Hooray! <laughs> oh, Daddy, I haven't won a prize yet. Don't worry, Peppa. There's still one more event. And now for the last event of the day. The tug of war. Boys against girls. <laughs> when I say go, you must pull the rope with all your strength. The girls will win. No, they won't. The boys will win. Ready, steady, go. Come, Come on, boys. boys. Come on, pull. Come, Come on, on, the girls. Pull. I am pulling. Everyone is pulling so hard, the rope is breaking. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> and the result is a draw. So both teams win! Hooray! I love the school sports day, especially when I win a prize. Here are Granny Pig and Grandpa Pig in their car. Hello, everyone. Hello, Grandpa Pig. Would you like some petrol or air? No, thanks. I want to try out your new car wash. Certainly. It's run by a computer. Hello, I am the car wash of the future. Ooh. First, soapy water. Then, a rinse. And finally, a polish. Wow! Sorry, I have malfunctioned. Oh dear, the computer has broken. And Grandpa Pig's car is stuck. Ah! Do something, Grandad Dog! Oh. I don't know how to mend computers. My daddy mended our computer at home. Uh, well, I didn't really mend the computer. I just... Good! Then this is a job for Daddy Pig. Hmm. Maybe if I just switch it off... ...and then switch it on again. Daddy Pig has mended the car wash. Hooray! Grandad Dog is the best at mending cars, but my daddy mended the car wash. <laughs> <laughs> oh, George, where's your hat? Achoo! George has caught a cold. Achoo! Oh, poor. 
Poor little George. You don't sound well. <coughs> don't worry. I'll ring Dr Brown Bear. Dr Brown Bear speaking. I see. Put George to bed and I'll be straight round. Thank you, Dr Brown Bear. Goodbye. Will George be taken to hospital and given medicine? No. George just has to go to bed. Oh, so George is not really properly ill. <coughs> Ugh, that's disgusting. <coughs> Poor George. Let's get you straight to bed. George, you have to stay in bed for a bit. No. George does not want to stay in bed. Achoo. George, you have to stay in bed until you are better. Why? Because you have to keep warm. Why? Uh, because Dr Brown Bear says so. Hello, where's my patient? <gasps> Open wide and say, ah. George is a little bit worried. Hmm, Pepper, you're big and brave. Can you show George how to say, ah? Of course. Ah. <laughs> Ah! Hmm, George has caught a cold. Does George need medicine? No, but he can have some nice warm milk at bedtime to help him sleep. Thank you, Dr Brown Bear. You're welcome. Goodbye. George has been in bed all day. Now it is Pepper's bedtime. George, are you better? George is not better. There. Now you look like two cheeky snails. <laughs> and I'm going to eat her all Grandpa Pig's lettuce. Oi! Keep off my lovely lettuce, you cheeky snails. And when Grandpa Pig shouts at me, I'll hide in my little house. <laughs> <laughs> All of Peppa's friends are here. Hello, Grandpa Pig. Hello, Susie. Have you come to play with Peppa and George? Yes. I don't know where they are. <laughs> it's just me and these two snails here. We are cheeky snails. We are cheeky snails. <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> <laughs> we were pretending to be snails. <laughs> Can we be snails too? I don't think I have enough baskets for you all. Aww. You could be something else, though. Something exciting from the garden. A carrot? Rebecca Rabbit likes carrots. No, Rebecca, not carrots. Come over here. <laughs> What's that buzzing sound? It's coming from that little house. Grandpa, why is that doll's house making a funny buzzing noise? That's not a doll's house, Peppa. It's a bee's house. It's called a hive. Ooh. Look, here's one now. What's she doing? She's collecting nectar from the flower, and then she flies back to the hive to make it into honey. Hmm, I like honey. Let's pretend to be bees. Buzz, buzz, buzz. Yes, let's be bees. Buzz, buzz, buzz. <laughs> buzz, 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 buzz. What busy bees. Yes, we're busy bees. Buzz. We're going to have a race on our bikes. <laughs> Peppa, do you want to race too? <coughs> OK, as long as we can race downhill. OK. <laughs> Peppa and her friends are going to race down the hill. Are you all ready? Ready! You can start when I honk the horn, like this. <coughs> Pedro has set off too soon. Stop, Pedro! The race hasn't started yet. Sorry, Mr Pig. 
I was just letting you know that the horn sounded like this. Oh, stop! Sorry, Pedro. That time it was my fault. The next time I honk the horn, you can go. Did you say go? I think so. Go! Go on, Pepper. But, Daddy, you didn't honk the horn. Danny Dog is in the lead. Wait for me. Whee! I win! Well done, Peppa! Yes, I'm very good at cycling downhill. <laughs> it is home time for Peppa's friends. Bye-bye, Peppa! Bye! Home time for us too, Peppa. Mummy, I'm tired. All this cycling up and down hills has made my legs tired. Can I ride on your bike? But where will Daddy Pig sit? Um, Daddy can ride my bike. It's very nice. Oh, OK. <laughs> I love the tandem. Daddy, do you like my bike? Yes, Peppa. It's very nice. <laughs> <laughs> Daddy, I'm Queen Pepper. You must bow when you speak to me. Oh, I'm most terribly sorry, Your Royal Highness. And what do you do? I'm your daddy. Hmm, that must be very interesting. Yes, it's very interesting. And what room is this? This is the dinosaur room. The dinosaur room? George, this is the dinosaur room. <laughs> dinosaur! Where is the dinosaur? He's somewhere in the room. I can't see him. He must be very small. Actually, Pepper, he's very big. <gasps> wow! These are the bones of a real dinosaur. <laughs> dinosaur. <Grrr. laughs> George imagines being a big dinosaur. The dinosaur room is George's favourite room. <laughs> My favourite room is the king and queen's room. And it looks as if Daddy Pig is already in his favourite room. Which room is that, Mummy? The room with the cakes in. Daddy Pig's favourite room is the museum cafe. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, tuck in. Oh, yes. This is a very nice room. <laughs> <laughs> to swing across. Stand back. Ready, steady, go! Whee! Look at me! I'm flying like a bird. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't get out. Peppa is stuck in the tyre. <laughs> <laughs> it's not funny. Well, it does look a bit funny. <laughs> we'll have to pull you out. <laughs> Pepper's friends are helping to free her. <laughs> Hooray! Thank you, everyone. <laughs> George, do you want to play on the climbing frame? <laughs> the climbing frame is quite high. George does not like being up high. Sorry, George. Let's play on the slide. Yes, the slide. Yippee! <laughs> Peppa loves the slide. Everyone loves the slide. Mummy, Daddy, look at me. Ready, steady, go. Wee! George wants to play on the slide. Are you sure, George? It is a bit high. 
All right. I'll help you up the steps. <laughs> oh, dear. It is a bit too high for George. <laughs> Don't worry, George. I'll slide down with you. Daddy, you're too big to go down the slide. Don't be silly, Pepper. I'm not too big. Stand back. Ready? Steady? Go! <gasps> Daddy Pig is stuck. <laughs> it's not funny. <laughs> it looks very funny, Daddy. Mm. I suppose it is a bit funny. <laughs> we'll have to push you down. Yay! <laughs> 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 Let's go up on deck and breathe in some fresh sea air. Look, Mummy, the boat is rocking about. Yes, Peppa. Mummy Pig doesn't like it when the boat rocks about. All this sea air is making me hungry. Who wants to eat? No, thank you. The waves are getting bigger. Here, I brought you a fried egg sandwich. Oh! Land ahoy! The ferry has arrived in France. Remember, Daddy Pig, they might drive differently here. Oh, oh, driving is driving, Mummy Pig. You see, it's just like driving at home. Ah! Cochon de la roue! Hello there! Hello! Hello. <laughs> Pepper and her family have arrived in Paris. Delphine Donkey and her family are here to meet them. Bonjour. Bonjour, Delphine. Bonjour <laughs> means hello in French. <laughs> what would you like to see in Paris? I want to see everything. Oh, <laughs> it is impossible to see everything. In that case, I would like to see the real hidden Paris. The Paris that the tourists don't see. Bravo, Mr. Pig. Tell me, which part of the real hidden Paris would you like to see first? The Eiffel Tower. Ah, OK. This is the Eiffel Tower. Wow, this is busy. Imagine what the tourist places must be like. Ah, your turn to surf, guys. Thank you, but I'm quite happy to watch. Why don't you have a go, Mr Pig? Why not? It does look fun. Oh, the waves have gone. Too bad, Mr Pig. Looks like you've missed your chance to surf today. Oh, that's a shame. But it's just right for little George to go paddling in. <laughs> I'll come with you, George. <laughs> no surfing, George, but you can sit on me instead. George likes sitting on top of Daddy Pig. <laughs> Look at that wave coming! Crikey, it's a big one. Daddy, there's a big wave coming! Wave! wave. 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 What's that? Wave! Wave! wave. 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 <laughs> I think they want us to wave, George. Cooey! <laughs> Cooey! George is using Daddy Pig as a surfboard. <laughs> wow, George has got great balance. <laughs> Hooray! You're a natural surfer, George. Maybe you can teach me a few tricks. <laughs> George is the best. <laughs> <laughs> Surfing, Mummy. Yes, what a fantastic holiday we're having. So, what's planned for tomorrow? Are you, uh, staying another day? I could stay here forever. Well, I do have to go to work tomorrow. They can come along too. Mm, OK. Well, I suppose that might be great. <laughs> Pepper is having a lovely long holiday with Kylie Kangaroo. Maybe we're early. No, Pedro. We've missed the bus. Oh, come on. Let's catch them up. 
<laughs> Pedro is always late. Look! There's a car chasing us. Oh, hello, Mrs Pony. Stop the bus! Pedro is here! <laughs> Sorry, Madame Gazelle. I overslept. Oh, Pedro, you do like sleeping. <sighs> yes, Madame Gazelle. To the museum. <laughs> Nothing can stop us now. Uh, Madame Gazelle, I need the toilet. And me. And me. Me too. This is Grandad Dog's garage. <laughs> what will it be? Petrol or diesel? <laughs> Toilet, please. <laughs> Are you sure you wouldn't like any petrol? No, we haven't gone anywhere yet. <laughs> <laughs> right, next stop, the museum. Um, where is Pedro? <laughs> petrol pumps. Interesting. Oh, come along, Pedro. <laughs> Bye. I hope we get to the museum before it closes. Here is the museum. Mr Rabbit is locking up for the day. Hello, Mr Rabbit. We would like to see the museum, please. Hmm. We were just closing, but I can give you a quick tour. This is the King and Queen's room, full of old stuff. Ooh. Hmm. Interesting. Here are the giant dinosaurs. All very nice. Ah! Amazing! Space, rockets and all that. Wow! And through this door is the most amazing place of all. It's the fantastic world you live in. Oh! You just need a bit more practice, George. Watch me. Wow! Ah! Oops. I'll just get the ball back. Hello, Mummy Pig. Uh, can we have our ball back, please? Yes, but please play more carefully in future. Yes, Mummy Pig. Sorry, Mummy Pig. Here is Danny Dog. What are you doing? We're playing bat and ball. My daddy is very good at it. He batted the ball all the way into the house. Well, can I play bat and ball too? Uh, maybe it's time for a different garden game. Like what? Limbo! What's limbo when it's at home? I'll show you. I know. You jump over it. It's much too high to jump over. Ho, ho, ho. We go under the limbo pole and we need music to do it. <laughs> Daddy Pig is very good at limbo. Wow! Ah, but now we'll put the pole a bit lower. <laughs> OK. Oh! Daddy, your tummy is too big to go under the pole. My tummy is not too big. I just can't bend like I used to. <laughs> <laughs> My turn. And me. And me. <laughs> Well done, everyone. Now we'll put the pole even lower. Ooh! Easy, Daddy. <laughs> it's impossible. Nobody can go under that. <laughs> wow! George can do it. Hooray! George is the best at limbo dancing because he is Hello, Susie. I'm a bit sad. Me too. Are you still coming to play tomorrow? Yes, please. OK. See you tomorrow. <laughs> it is morning and Susie Sheep has come to play with Peppa. Race you to the next hill! <laughs> 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 I will really miss you, Susie. <coughs> and I'll miss you, Peppa. <laughs> I will even miss you bossing me about. What do you mean? You are the bossy one. No, I am not. <coughs> yes, you 
you are. <laughs> we are both a bit bossy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so happy about this new job in a new country. I thought I'd be stuck here forever. So you said. <laughs> are you ready to go, Susie? No, wait. <laughs> I made you a going away card. Thank you, Peppa. And you can have this. It's my most favourite plastic crown because you are so special. And so you don't forget me and you must keep it forever. I will never forget you, Peppa. Don't go, Susie. Hello? Oh, I see. Right. They said I didn't get the new job. So you're not moving away? No. Are we staying here forever? Yes. Hooray! <laughs> I'm glad you're staying, Susie. Me too. Now you can give me my crown back. But you said I could keep the crown forever. I know. But you're not going away now. Oh, you can wear it when you come round. What about the card? You can keep the card. Thank you, Peppa. <laughs> Peppa and Susie are the best of friends. <laughs> a magic bathroom. There's a little basin with little taps. And that's not all. A magic toilet. I wonder what this button is for. Ah! <laughs> Daddy has found the magic shower. <laughs> Hello, passports, please. Of course. Ah, you are Mr. Pig. We, oui, Mr. Pig. You must be coming to test our concrete. Uh, yes. Do you know me? Oh, your work in concrete is famous in our country. Oh, but I have disturbed you. Good night. Uh, good night. It is bedtime. <sighs> night, night, Pepper and George. Night, night, my little piggies. Night, night. Pepper and George are tucked up in their little beds on the train. Clickety clack, clickety clack, the train runs on the track. Half and puff, half and puff, ba da 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 da. Boop, boop. <laughs> It is morning and time for breakfast on the train. Good morning. Miss Rabbit, aren't you meant to be driving the train? It's fine. The train runs on rails. It can't get lost. Would you like coffee or orange juice? I'd like both, please. No, coffee or orange juice. You can't have both. I don't think we have to be so strict with the famous Mr Pig. Coffee and orange juice. Thank you. Excuse me, I am King Alfonso. Could I have a coffee and orange juice too? No, that is impossible. Pepper and her family have arrived at the end of their long train journey. We are honored to have your visit, Mr. Pig. Thank you. Here is the concrete for you to test. Daddy Pig? He's an expert at concrete. Hmm. Very good. Hooray! Don't worry. There is something we can do with daisies. We can make a daisy chain. What's a daisy chain? I'll show you. First you take a daisy and make a little hole in the stem. Take another daisy and thread it through that hole. Then make a hole in that daisy stem and thread another daisy through that hole. Look, a daisy chain. Wow. wow. Let me try. Make a hole in the stem, thread a daisy through. This is fun. <laughs> <laughs> we can join them together to make one big daisy chain necklace. There! Now you are the Daisy Queen, Peppa. Yes, I am the Daisy Queen. Look at me, look at me! <laughs> no, George, I am the Daisy Queen. You need to be something else. Oh. George, you can be a lion. And these dandelions can be your mane. <laughs> George is a dandelion. Oh! 
<laughs> George likes being a lion. <laughs> Children, come and get your food. <laughs> Look, everyone. I am the Daisy Queen, and this is George the Lion. Ooh. Ooh. And I know a trick to see if you like butter, Daddy. Really? Yes, you do like butter. Oh, <laughs> I do. That's very clever, Pepper. Can I try? Hmm, yes. Daddy also likes eggs and tomato, cheese and cake. Wow! How do you know all that, Mummy? Because he's got bits of egg, tomato, cheese and cake all down his front. Ho, ho! <laughs> Daddy Pig loves picnics. Everybody loves picnics. <laughs> Sounds and surprise Daddy. What a good idea. Come on, George. <laughs> Pepper and George are recording lots of different sounds. In the kitchen. In the bedroom. <laughs> in the living room. In the hallway. <laughs> Even in the garden. Peppa, George, Daddy will be home soon. Have you finished recording your sounds? <laughs> no, Mummy, there's just one more. Come on, George, follow me. What sound can it be? It's a very important sound. Peppa <laughs> is going into the bathroom. Flush the toilet, George. <laughs> Daddy Pig is home from work. Hello, everyone. Hello, Daddy. <laughs> I've been looking forward to playing my new synthesizer all day. Mmm, lovely music. It's even more lovely with the buttons, Daddy. <laughs> Play it again. All right. Whoa! <laughs> What's that? That's me! We've made lots of silly sounds. Play it again! <laughs> <laughs> it's funny music, Daddy. Oh, oh it certainly is. <laughs> <laughs> Daddy Pig loves funny music. Everyone loves funny music. Here is Granny Pig with her friends. Granny Pig! Hello, my little ones. Have you had a nice morning? Yes, thank you, Granny. Why are you wearing funny clothes? We have been doing historical reenactment. What's hysterical redemactment? It's when you dress up like it's the olden days. And sit around drinking tea. We do more than just drink tea. <coughs> Today, we were being Romans. What's Romans? Romans were people who lived a very long time ago. And I am the emperor. The emperor was the boss of all the Romans. Ooh. Goodbye. See you next week, Granny Pig. Bye! Bye. <laughs> Granny, can we be Romans too? Yes, Peppa. Here are some helmets. <laughs> <laughs> now what do we do? We march around saying, Veni, Vidi, Vici. What does that mean, Granny? It probably means, anyone for another cup of tea? No. <laughs> it means, I came, I saw, I conquered. Benny Vidi Vici. Benny Vidi Vici. <laughs> Granny Pig loves being a Roman. Benny Vidi Vici. <laughs> Pepper and George love being Romans too. Pepper and George have been doing some lovely pictures this morning. My goodness, they're very good. They look just like Polly. Just like Polly. <laughs> <laughs> the Romans like making pictures too, you know. Did they? Yes. They used coloured pieces to make pictures, known as mosaics. Here's one I made this morning. Ooh. Can we make a mosaic? What a good idea. 
You'll need some colored pebbles. Follow me. I've got a whole bag of pebbles in my shed. This is Grandpa Pig's shed. Hello. We're just going out for a sail. It's a bit early for sailing. Yes, you can't go sailing now. Thank you for your advice. See you later. Grandpa, your friend said that we can't go sailing yet. They don't know what they're talking about. Oh, bother. Grandpa's boat is stuck in the mud. There's no water, Grandpa. Uh, yes, the tide seems to be out. So we can't go sailing? Don't worry. The water will come back again soon and the boat will rise up. The water is coming back. It certainly is. The water is lifting Grandpa's boat out of the mud. <laughs> We're bobbing up and down. Let's go sailing. Aye, aye, Captain Grandpa. <laughs> Off we go. <laughs> I love sailing. Oh, hi there, Grandpa Pig. Are you okay, though? Do you need any help or advice, old chap? We're doing just fine, thank you. Bye. Grandpa, they're going quicker than us. There's no need to hurry when you're sailing. <laughs> We're bobbing up and down. The boat bobs up, the boat bobs down. <laughs> Ahoy there, Grandpa Pig. Time to head back if you don't want to miss the tide. If you leave it too late, you'll get stuck in the mud. Ha-ha! <laughs> right you are. <sniffs> Goodbye. I don't listen to them. I know more about the tides than they ever will. <laughs> the boat bobs up, the boat bobs down. The boat bobs up, the boat bobs down. The boat bobs up. Oh, we've stopped bobbing. Ah, the tide seems to have gone out. It's coming from the tree. It's Tiddles the tortoise. Naughty Tiddles, come down at once. I can shake the tree to get Tiddles down. Is that a good idea, Pedro? Don't worry, I am Super Pedro. Oh, dear. What has happened? Tiddles fell on Pedro's nose. My nose hurts. Poor Pedro. I will call for the doctor. Dr. Brown Bear speaking. A bumped nose, you say? I'll be right there. <laughs> Hello. Where is the patient? Here. My nose hurts. I see. Say, ah. Uh... Ah. You need a plaster. There. That will make it better. Hooray! My glasses don't work. Pedro's glasses are all muddy. Oh, Dr. Brown Bear, can you fix Pedro's glasses? No, I can't. You'll need an optician for that. An optician is a doctor who knows about glasses. My daddy's an optician. Hello, Dr. Pony speaking. A pair of glasses not working, you say? I'm on my way. Hello, Daddy. Hello, son. What seems to be the problem? My glasses aren't working. Can you read this chart? No, my glasses aren't working. Why, these glasses just need a good clean. <laughs> Is that better? <laughs> yes. Thank you, Daddy. Dr. Pony has fixed Pedro's glasses. Hooray! Thank you, doctors. Everything is back to normal. <laughs> ah! I'm stuck! Help! Don't worry, I'm coming in. Oh no, I'm stuck too! Help! Hello! 
Mr. Elephant has come to collect Edmund Elephant. Mr. Elephant! Help! We're stuck! <laughs> no problem, ladies. I'll get you out. No, don't! You'll get stuck! It's a trap! Ah! I'm stuck! <laughs> Daddy Pig, Pepper and Susie have come to collect George. <laughs> ah, what good little children you are. Uh, where are your parents? Hi! We're, We're stuck! Ho, oh, oh, ho! That usually happens to me! That is going to happen to me, isn't it? I'm going to go in there and get stuck. Me and Susie can go in. We're smaller. That's kind of you both, but it is my job. As a grown-up, I must do this. But, Daddy! Don't worry, Peppa. If I get stuck, I will ring for the rescue services. Ah, yes, I'm stuck. Lucky I've got my phone. Hello, rescue service. Oh, you're in here too. Yes, I'm a bit tied up at the moment. So there's no one to rescue us. We're here, Daddy. We will rescue the grown-ups. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> 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 that tickles. <laughs> uh, hey! Thank you, Pepper and Susie, for rescuing us. Hip hip! Hooray! Hooray! Now we can all go home. <laughs> the little ones have gone back inside. Cheese! <laughs> Cheese! <laughs> George loves cheese. <laughs> I've got a very smelly cheese here. Uh, maybe Daddy Pig uh, should give it a sniff. <laughs> the smell of the cheese has knocked Daddy Pig off his feet. Wow, that's what I call a strong cheese. Good, isn't it? Mmm, yum, yum. George likes smelly cheese. <laughs> May we buy that one, please? Of course. Thank you. Fish, nice fresh fish. Can we buy some fish, please? OK, I've got trout, addock, mackerel or squid. What would you like? They all look good. How about I give you some of each? Then you can make a lovely fish pie. Fish pie, yummy. There you go. Thank you very much. Fish, apples, cheese. Here is Mr Fox's store. Bananas, flower <laughs> tools, handbags. I'm selling anything, really. What do you want? Nothing, thank you. We've bought everything we need. Apples, cheese and fish. Oh, why didn't you come to me first? I've got all of that. Do you sell apples? You've never seen apples like these. They're made of wood. Wooden apples. Brilliant, aren't they? They'll last forever. What else did you buy? Cheese. Cheese? I've got all kinds of cheese here. They don't smell of much. It's because they are plastic. Made of plastic? Yes, guaranteed to last you a lifetime. Buy one, get four free. No, thank you, Mr Fox. You bought a fish too, didn't you? I could have sold you a better fish. No plastic fish, thank you. This isn't plastic. Well, actually it is. But this is an amazing toy fish. Look, it sings. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. How I wonder what you are. This is the sand digger ride. Pepper and George, jump on board! Mummy and Daddy Pig, you have to pedal. Oh! oh. <laughs> now, fill up this big bucket with sand. This is fun! Yes, fun! <laughs> Excellent work, children! Now we flip the bucket over, give it a tap, et voila! Hooray! Pepper and George have made a big sandcastle. Let's go to the next ride. This is the wall building ride. <laughs> Stack the soft blocks to make a wall. Hurry up, Mummy! Okay, Pepper. 
<laughs> Pedal fast, the mummy! Oh, I'm going as fast as I can, Pepper. <laughs> Nearly finished. There. A lovely wall. <sighs> Here comes George with a demolition digger. <laughs> oh, dear. George has knocked down Pepper's wall. George! You naughty piggy! <laughs> ho, ho Building things up, then knocking them down! It's all part of the fun at Digger World! <laughs> this is the grabber machine. How do we play this one? Let's hope it's not pedal-powered. Mummy and Daddy Pig do the pedaling. Oh. oh, Pepper and George use the grabber to win a lovely prize. Ooh. There are Mr. Potato dolls or toy dinosaurs to be won. I'm sure. Brr. Okay, George, let's get a dinosaur. <laughs> this way, George. <laughs> no, no, that way. Back, forward, down. <laughs> Dinosaur toy is too heavy for the grabber. Oh. Could you give your horn a tiny little toot so that we can all... Yes, that should be sufficient to alert the public of your approach. Now for the last bit of the lesson. Where is he going? Police officer Panda is driving to the bottom of the hill. Calling police officer Squirrel. Over. Can you read me? Over. Read you loud and clear. Over. The police have special phones to talk to each other. I'm in position. Over. Now, when I blow my whistle, I want you all to cycle down the hill and use your brakes to not bump into police officer Panda. OK. <laughs> <laughs> They're on their way. Over. I see them coming. Over. <laughs> Very good braking, everyone. Are you ready for Madame Gazelle? Over. Send her down. Over. Uh, I don't think I need to do this. I am the teacher and I wasn't Off supposed you to go. be taught. Ears and eyes open! Ears and eyes open! Yes! Woohoo! This is fun! Ring your bell! Oh yes, ring bell! Brakes! Oh yes, brakes! Well done! And that's how to ride your bicycles safely. Children, thank you police for taking time off from their important work to talk to us today. Thank you! You're very welcome. When I grow up, I want to be a policeman. And what is it about being a policeman that you like? I like blowing whistles. Very good. But of course there's more to being a police officer than blowing whistles. Oh yes, we're always very busy. We do lots of very important things, like... Uh, the police solve mysteries and drive cars with flashing lights. Nina, Nina, woo! Spot on, Freddy. Right, we really must be on our way. And remember, always keep your ears and eyes open. Oh, who put that tree there? Yes, it's not a safe place to put a tree. I'll make a note. Dangerous tree on public highway. <laughs> George does not want a new dinosaur. Look, George, a big dinosaur. <gasps> dinosaur. <laughs> Good morning. Can I help you? We'd like the dinosaur in the window, please. Certainly. Good choice. This is the dino roar. It roars, it walks, and it sings a dinosaur song. Dino roar, dino roar, listen to the dino roar. Roar! Wow! wow. Dino roar! <laughs> we'll take it. <laughs> roar! <laughs> George is playing with dino roar in the garden. 
Don't play too roughly with Dino Roar, George. He has moving parts and might get broken. George cannot play with Dino Roar in the garden. George wants to play with Dino Roar in the bath. George, if you get Dino Roar wet, he'll stop working. George cannot play with Dino Roar in the bath. It is night time. George has taken Dino Roar to bed with him. Maybe Dino Roar should sleep somewhere else. George cannot have Dino Roar in his bed at night. It is morning. Why is George looking so sad? George cannot play with Dino Roar in the garden, in the bath, or in bed. Never mind, George. Dino Roar can still roar. Dino Roar, Dino Roar, listen to the Dino Roar. Yeah. Oh. I think the batteries must have run out, Daddy Pig. Already? How many batteries are in here? Hundreds and thousands. Dino Roar needs lots of batteries to make him roar.